This is a demonstration of how to calibrate the throttle grip on a Yamaha MT-09 Tracer for the MC Cruise Control. First thing we have to do is go into diagnostic mode. To do that we press and hold the set and the on off button on the switch at the same time while we turn the key on. Until this LED goes green then we can release the buttons. To test that we're in diagnostic mode we have to press and release the, one of the brakes I'll use the front brake and the LED goes green so that confirms that it is in diagnostic mode. To get into throttle calibration mode we press and hold the on off button while pressing the set button six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. The LED's gone red which says we're in throttle position calibration mode. Now to calibrate the idle position we make sure the throttle grip is at rest and press the set button once the LED will go green to confirm it. We then wind on full throttle and press the resume button to save the full throttle position and you'll see the LED it went yellow. We release the throttle grip and now press and hold the on off button for two seconds until the LED changes colour to green. We're now at a point where we can test whether the calibration has worked. The LED is solid green at idle which is correct and it should start flashing as we wind the throttle on to full throttle when it should go yellow or orange. So that confirms that the throttle calibration has worked and is acceptable. If we now press the on off button again for two seconds the LED will go red and we're in another mode where we can test how much free play it's got before it starts to apply throttle using the throttle by wire. Now to do this test we need to start the motor. So make sure you're in neutral, pull the clutch in, start the engine. Now the set key in this mode will advance the throttle incrementally for each press, press and release, a tiny amount. So we're going to count how many presses it takes to just start to lift the engine off idle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there it started to move. I'll go one more, seven. Now I'll come back again decreasing the throttle with the res key. So 7 is pressed, 6, 5, that's at idle, I'll go to 4. Now we need to test that that has worked, uh, so first we have to save it. We save it by pressing the on off button and releasing it, and that saved the new minimum position. We're going to test it now by pressing the set key, one, two, and you can hear that the engine has just started to come off idle on two, and resume has brought it back to idle by pressing it once. So that confirms that the idle position for the cruise control is now at the best position for the cruise to work optimally. If we now turn off the engine on the, on the bike, turn the power off, it will save all those settings. 